Hello everyone and welcome back to another Grey Man Travels and we're back in the US of A again. So um, we're looking at this new map called Iowa Plains View. So it's actually new to me and it's actually on a new release. It uh, is on a version 1.0.06 which was released on the 17th of the 5th 2023. Now it's made by a modder called uh, Celebuka. It's 488.38 megabytes to download and it's cross-platform, so PC, Mac, PlayStation, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox series of consoles. Now, there's quite a lot of information that's on the um, mod hub description, so I'll just run through a few little bits of it while we're just uh, doing a bit of a flyover. So the uh, map comes with 30 fields from uh, small to big. There's uh, two fields that are uh, comes with the grass missions. There's two forestry sites. There's collectibles, which are actually cartridges, so that's quite nice to see. There's a BGA, there's obviously custom traffic which you can just see there, there's pedestrians, and there's some nice custom terrain, uh, paintable terrain textures, and there's um, some specific Iowa State license plates, and uh, apparently the seasonal growth has been slightly uh, edited to match the real region in America. So there's quite a few productions, there's a dairy, there's a sawmill, there's a carpentry, there's a bakery, an oil plant, a sugar mill, a water mill, a popcorn factory, and there's also an electric factory. Now, there's there's a few, there's quite a few uh, nice custom um, productions on this map as well, which um, are one of the reasons why I picked and I wanted to actually do a quick map tour of it. So, I think what we'll do first, though, we'll just crack on and get straight on to uh, our starter farm and see how we uh, get on and what new equipment we get. So, let's just skip down there now. So, if we start with what we get as new farmer mode, so we get two nice medium John Deere tractors. We get a 6230R with 280 horsepower. And we get a, a slightly older 7810 with 175 horsepower. It's nice to see the 7810, that's a nice tractor, I do like those. Um, you then get a large tractor, so you get the John Deere 7R, which has got 305 horsepower. And you get a nice uh, case axial flow 7150 um, harvester, which has got 449 horsepower, so that's a, that's a nice uh, it's definitely a nice harvest to start with. You start with standard lizard pickup truck, you uh, a Brantha or a Brantna, sorry, um, power tube trailer, the uh, case 28 foot or 8.5 meter header, a uh, 9 meter Capello um, corn and sunflower header, a Lemkin Coraline 9 840 cultivator a Vadastad Rapid A800S Cedar, it's nice to see some different equipment there, um, a Lemkin Azurit 9 and the Solitaire 23 tank to go with it as a planter, so I do quite like that planter and the uh, tank at the front combination, just something a little bit different, um, a KUHN Butterfly and Front Mower, a, a Vicon Fanex 904 9m Tedder, a uh, Samash um, 8.4 meter wind rower, a, a nice Pottinger Faro 4010D forage wagon, which is nice to see, uh, a KUHN VB 3190 baler, oh a nice Anderson bale loader, I'm a big big fan of bale loaders personally, um, a nice uh, Nardi header trailer and uh, some nice pickup weights, so the weights for the actual uh, John Deere, so a pickup 1150 and a pickup 900, so that's nice to see as well. So. The actual game does come with a few of the additional extras, so it does have some additional um, plants. So it comes with uh, alfalfa and clover, so that's quite nice to see something a little bit different. Now uh, the actual crop calendar itself um, looks like it has been slightly altered by the looks of it, so you can put some uh, spring uh, wheat and barley in, so obviously it must match the area that's in the uh, United States, so that's quite nice to see. Um, you do start with some animal pens, so your chicken pasture, pig sty and cow barn, which we'll run through in a few minutes. And then uh, the nice contracts, there's some very nice contracts here actually with some very good um, rewards. So that obviously will mean that you can probably progress pretty quick. Um, no productions from the start. And uh, you also don't get any other additional bonuses like on some maps. So, um, but there's quite a lot of custom places of uh, production and selling, so obviously it's in pancakes, waffles, ketchup, 
factory, french fries, pizza, etc. So quite nice to see some uh, different things. So you've got cornbread, popcorn, butter popcorn, corn flour, and then you've got your different types of alfalfa and your clover. So it's uh, quite nice to see some nice custom things in there. So I think if we just uh, get out of here quickly, open the gate, and we'll have a quick look at our animal enclosures. So the main farm is a good size. Um, you've got a really nice big silo there for all your uh, grain etc so that's nice to see it's a proper american looking silo system as well so there's some of the uh, barns for the uh, storage of your equipment which is nice to see and also you've got the original american barn there as well for your repairing so we'll just skip across the road quick Ooh, watch out for any traffic so let's go over here first um because this is the really large pigsty. It's very impressive this one actually. So this is a 540 head pigsty. Um, it's a really nice mod actually um, and a really nice uh, pig shed I must admit. It's a little bit different to ones I've seen before but it's just nice to see something a little bit, little bit unusual on a, on a map so that's nice. If we then skip across here then we've got a few, we've got a few other things to look at. So we've got another uh, shed there for storage you've got all your equipment here as well you know it's like the older John Deere tractor there as well so that's quite nice you've got a hay barn over here as well you've got a big silage clamp that's nice you've got a hay loft sorry so that's good you can put your your hay there and then we've got a different type of cow barn as well so it's slightly different this cow barn it's quite nice to see I think the door is there so this one is a 240 head cow barn and then obviously you've got the pasture out the back as well which is really nice to see um, the map itself when i've been looking around and having a look at a few things is is very um it's very nicely done the textures are nice etc and um, it doesn't seem to have any um, unusual collision points or anything like that so that's good um, and we just need to find the chicken barn let's have a quick look on the map i think if i remember rightly the chickens Yes, they're over here. So if we, we go, so we've got a custom chicken pasture, which is quite nice to see. Uh, this is a 250 uh, hen chicken pasture, and it's a. I've seen this mod before, and I've run it on a few of my own games just to mix it up a little bit. So that's that's quite nice to see. I must admit. So uh, the main farm yard, like I say, is a really good size. Um, you actually start with um, three fields. So you start with 13, 7, 11, sorry, and eight. And the farm is split between uh, 9 and 10. Now, um, from what I can see on the description, everything is actually sellable on the main farm, which is nice to see. I mean, the fill prices are pretty high, but we'll run through those a little bit later. So uh, they're pretty good. So then what I think we'll do now, we'll just run through what productions, etc. we've got on the map, because these are some nice productions to run through. So this is your main farm up here. And if we move down here, so the road layout is... It, it's pretty good it's not massively um, just gritty so it's quite nice there's some nice sweeping roads nice intersecting areas um, the fields themselves are, are a good size obviously you've got some smaller fields down here and down here and then you've got some bigger fields as you go into the middle and over to the left hand side which is nice to see so you could do some very big american farming um, probably even get to the point of like two or three harvesters on a field it's not one of the biggest um, field sizes i've seen on an american map but it is getting there so as we come down, we've got a few productions in this corner. We've got uh, Jackson's Farm. So it's nice to see that they're putting a farm in where there's a selling place as well. You've got a natural gas power plant, which is an unusual one, actually. I quite like this. I'll run through this in a second. Um, you've got your train line, which runs through just at the bottom of the map. So you can come and hire the train from here. And down here, you've also got a biogas plant. So if we run through the natural gas power plant, so this is an interesting one, actually. So you can give this methane and you can give it transfor transformer oil so you can just about purchase it yet yeah. and what you can do it then produces electricity it's just something a little bit different so you can give it methane which can come from the bga and the transformer oil you can actually buy from the main shop so you can actually buy it's a pallet and it's not massively cheap i'll agree with that so it's there, it's 39,000, but it's quite nice to see something a little bit different on a map. 
so he could if he wanted to get into being a big exporter of electricity in the area then that's it that's the idea for you um, some of the other productions do also need some of the other pallets that you need to buy from the shop so sea salt is used for the um, butter corn um, um, for the popcorn and the popcorn butter and the oregano is used then for the pizza so um, just some things to keep in mind there with the uh, custom productions on the map so we'll go back again to uh, just the main map again so down here is obviously like, like your BGA and your electricity plants that's good and you got your train line here so you've got your standard silos you've got a couple there you've got your rent train and you've got a grain selling station you've got your animal dealer and you've got your livestock bale sell point there and then up here you've got a Jackson's carpentry Jackson sawmill and another Jackson sawmill so you can do some forestry and these places sell your wood etc so that's nice now this is a really nice feature, the water mill. I'm a really big fan of this actually, it's just something a little bit different, I haven't seen on any other maps before. So it is a proper grain mill but it's powered by water. It's just something nice to see, a little bit different. So I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a really big fan of that. So the uh, water mill actually will take your corn and all your other standard um, types of crops for flour production and then it will actually turn them into uh, cornbread and um, also uh, the uh, flour you can use in the popcorn factory so it's just uh, a nice custom production that I thought on this map that I saw when I was looking around and thought yeah this is really nice and something I need to, I'd like to mention so what I'm also going to do as well is let's go back up here so the map has like a really large industrial area which is here so I'll run through that in a second so we've got a gas station up here and then we've got a garden restaurant as well but around here is like a industrial area I would call it or a commercial zone so you've got to uh, start at the top so you've got your vehicle shop here and you've got a oil mill you've got a town store you've got a popcorn factory you've got a sugar mill you've got a diner you've got a bakery a dairy you've got a waffle shop pizza rear uh, if I can actually uh, waffle shop and below that what else have we got if we can get to it we've got a Stanley Cakery we've got a ketchup production a fry shop a tailor shop and a spinnery so if we actually visit some of these places so as you can see it's like a really big area of just um, commercial uh, shops etc which is just nice to see on a on a map it's something a little bit different so all of the, most of these are, are actually able to be uh, purchased so if we look at something like this one which is the pancakes 40,000 and then 40,000 for the waffle shop so to be honest with you none of them are really massively expensive so it's a really uh, nice way to get into productions pretty early on um, I think got a diner there as well pizza rear this one's the popcorn factory for 60,000 so slightly more and you've got your standard oil factory as well now the oil factory doesn't that's at 80,000 the oil factory doesn't produce transformer oil just in case anybody thought that I did have a quick look at that and it doesn't do do that so uh, just uh, remember you have to buy the transformer oil from the shop so but yeah just it's just a nice area of commercial and uh, it's got a few nice productions to try. There's quite a few on this map that I've never tried myself, so it might be something I look into. So if we go back to the map again, we zoom out, and there's the water mill, and then that's pretty much all the productions and facilities on the map. And I think what we'll do, we'll do our usual and just finish with uh, field prices, which are quite high, but it is in America, so it's understandable. And the fields are really, really big. So if we want to expand into 12, it's 429,000. Go to 14 it's 111 so i suppose that's not too bad i'm guessing you get a big crop off of 11. if you want to go down here 103 323 358 so i don't actually think the fill prices um are too bad for the area and obviously for the type of map this is with the amount of um, crop you'll get and also with the amount of productions so i think you could make quite a lot of money after the early productions and then you can start buying some big fields so it's definitely worth uh, worth looking into so we'll skip back to the main farm and this uh, this is where your farmhouse is and the sleep trigger that's one thing I actually forgot to mention wherever the sleep trigger is I think it's around here 
yet it's up there. So hopefully you found this uh, video informative. If you've uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the Grey Man channel. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Many thanks.